So last week I got a call from a friend of mine, told me that he had found a Volkswagen graveyard up in Montana. He'd heard about it from another friend of ours, and uh, we decided to take off Sunday morning and go check it out. So early Sunday morning, we loaded up with a couple of other friends, and we all went to check this place out. First thing that we found on the property was this 1955 single cab. And those things have plain wheel travel, just some of the coolest logos I've ever seen on a single. Uh, Johnson Flying Service, they were actually based out of the Missoula Airport there in Missoula, Montana. I'd heard about this truck from a couple different people. I uh, wasn't really sure if it still existed. I'd been over to the airport, I'd asked around and nobody could, nobody ever knew anything about it. Apparently the owner, Leroy here, had picked this truck up like 30, 35 years ago. So he's had it there on his property for quite a while. And he used to drive it, you know, almost daily. Said he's hauled a lot of stuff in it there up to his property, a lot of gravel and whatnot. He used the heck out of it. Uh, the other thing was this white single cab uh, that had been cut down years ago. One of Leroy's buddies had cut it down thinking that he'd put a camper on the back of it and uh, just never got around to finishing it up and it was actually in pretty good shape for what was still there. We'd also heard there was a 60 double cab which I believe was actually this truck here which turned out it's probably a 61. Um, it's not a seam gate. Original dove blue paint though, body's in really good shape other than the rust. It's a little rusty. Um, but the body itself, you know, the gates, the bed, all that kind of stuff, uh, pretty good shape. Um, pretty neat truck. And then the fourth split window that was there on the property was a really rusty, really crusty um, 13 window deluxe. Uh, that's the maroon bus. Um, in addition to the split windows, there were, there were probably another 50 or 60 um, Volkswagens of all different years. There were some bay window buses. There were some Vanagons. Uh, also a ton of water-cooled stuff. Um, a few Beetles, some Type 3s, and I'll put together a bonus slideshow um, of everything else. Uh, this video, I'm just gonna feature these split windows here, and then uh, later today, I'll throw together another video uh, with all of the other Volkswagens that were here on this property. Leroy had purchased this property in 1977. And so this is, you know, nearly 40 years worth of collecting. Uh, and he's actually gotten rid of quite a few cars in the past few years. One of the things that he got rid of recently, I think he, I think he said it was last year, was a 1990 Vanagon Synchro uh, full camper and he had actually sold that for a pretty good deal. So it just goes to show you, you know, uh, the stuff's still out there, guys. I mean, a lot of people, I, I see a lot of comments from time to time that people will leave and they, you know, they say, I'll, I'll never find one of these. You know, I want one of these, but I can't find one. I can't afford one. Um, stuff's still out there, guys. You just gotta look for it. You just gotta ask around. And uh, if you keep your eyes open, keep your eyes peeled, and you keep looking, um, you're bound to find some stuff out there. And there's actually a lot of stuff out there that guys are still willing to let go for a decent price. You know, earlier this year, for example, you know, we picked up two split windows, and I'm not saying this to brag, I'm saying this to give some of you guys hope that you're, you'll be able to find a, a project of your own. But earlier this year, we picked up two split window buses, a 1967 Westfalia camper. Uh, we paid $1,000 for that bus. And there was also a 65 standard that uh, we picked up from the same property that we also paid $1,000 for. Now I've, I've kept those, I've got them uh, in, in my back storage, and my plan is to you know restore those someday. And luckily I was able to pick them up for a decent enough price that, that I could, you know, I could hang on to them. A lot of these buses that we buy, we pay a lot of money for. And unfortunately when I pay that much money for them, I'm just not able to hang on to them. And I've just got to turn around and resell them. But just want to give you guys, you know, keep your eyes open. 
there are still buses out there to be found and best of luck to all of you in your hunt and uh, please comment below let us know what you're finding out there and uh, as always appreciate you guys watching we'll catch you later